Elections 2019 on Manawatu People's Radio. Te reo irirangi o nga tangata o Manawatu. All right, and uh, lucky last question about housing. Uh, what sort of housing does the city need? And there's a lot of talk at the moment about uh, high and medium density uh, developments. Uh, is the city ready for this? Yes. I'm not allowed to go first. I think this is something we probably all will agree on. Uh, look, council has uh, council uh, social stock of 441, and we've increased that by 30 units at uh, Papioia Place. First build in 30 years, and there's more to come. Yes, council does want to intensify, certainly in our CBD, and I think Palmerston North is ready for some medium density and some apartment living. We've also been active with CHIPS, which are community housing providers, and it's great to see this sector grow, unfortunately not quick enough uh, to meet demand, but it is happening. And it's, it's awesome to see iwi and Housing New Zealand with the government active again too. We've established a housing steering group, and that's about uh, uh, building and facilitating more housing, especially affordable housing. And Council is also doing its own subdivision uh, with some smaller sections, which it will encourage um, more affordable housing at Whakarongo. Again, it'll be the first uh, residential development for the city um, since Paul Riga, Mayor Paul Riga's days. Thank you. <coughs> Probably there are a couple of things that I would add on to that. Um, if we incentivise inner city dwelling, it does take people out of their cars. So the whole issue around active and public transport also gets sorted out as well. Um, and it also reduces the urban sprawl into our green space areas, which is something that I would support as well. Uh, in terms of the way that we construct social housing, medium, and medium density and so on and so forth housing, I think it is also really important that we have the voices of renters and tenants at that at um, um, in, that, in that process. Often it's just the landlords, and so the people, instead of having things done with them, they're getting things done to them. So I think it's really important to actually have those voices at the table as well. Kia ora. Yeah, I would concur with the last two speakers. The, th the one thing that I would add is I think we need to look at the consenting process. <laughs> From talking to many people, one of the things that people find frustrating is the is the amount of paperwork and the time it takes to get consent. Uh, if we simplify that, then we could address the, the issues that we have in terms of housing in the city. I think we could address them much quicker. Yeah, yeah I want to subdivide my farm, but they, again, you, you're blocked by wanting to actually you know, build houses and to do something to fix the situation. It, it, it's totally, totally biased, it's totally corrupt. As the population increases, it's natural that a rise in demand of housing will also increase. Let's, let's ensure that a, a Palmerston North City Council has a fair and equitable hands in providing of those houses at the level of income and needs. An increase in stock, in social stock, which at the moment is modest 440 units, will also be increased in the revenue for the council. Let's ensure that a social stock is, is built to a standard that is comfortable, healthy, and durable. Housing density must be at the level to allow the green space around the dwelling, and let's build housing ethically to, has to avoid setting up slums for the future. A couple of weeks ago, I just was up in Auckland and it broke my heart when I see somebody sleeping on the ground, on the street. We do have a shortage. Um, the stock stays. It's wonderful that we can have the stock. My problem is when I looked in on the internet on Kiwi Built, my heart just broke. When uh, your, your single wages have to be 120 to meet the criteria, and if you're a couple, it's 180. And I thought that the Kiwi Built was meant to be for low income. How oh, this hard I was broken. You know, 
the model I looked at is the people's homes, which I uh, salute to them, and also a final order uh, program they have there, where it's suitable for the low income. My heart really goes for the low income. And so my issue here is I've been a KiwiSaver consultant since 2009, working for Hewlett Wealth Management. Uh, that's with Dr. Don Brash and John Banks, a bunch of crooks. Anyway, that's my thought. Um, and so, you know, KiwiSaver, yes, you've been saving for your KiwiSaver. The issue here is many of us don't have the deposit for a home. You can have the stock, but if you don't have the deposit, 